Hello again and welcome back to the the second tutorial on the hydraulics and how to uh, this is for the advanced hydraulics uh, if you would like to know more about how to build hydraulics how to adjust the contraction versus expansion and the math involved behind um, what the percentages mean then go check out my earlier video um, the first thing we're going to talk about um, in this video or in this section is being able to attach your hydraulics to different points on the bridge or on the each of these uh, sections here are a one leaf segment that is being lifted up uh, typically the way new players start is they will attach they'll always have the hydraulic attached to the, the point of the road so um, but there are many times uh, where you don't want to attach your hydraulic to the point of the road. You need to attach it um, somewhere else. Um, so what I've got here is I've got a whole bunch of different samples of the uh, hydraulic being attached to different points. Um, oh, well, device is going to fail when I first start out. So I'm going to have to replace some steel. Um, all right hopefully that'll be enough to make the my frame not break um there we go so each of these have moved back a different distance. Um, this has to do with, of course, the length of the hydraulic as well as uh, potentially where you attach the hydraulic. Um, in the last video, I discussed the aggressiveness of your angle, um, which essentially comes down to um, if your hydraulic is built at, if this angle is a larger angle here than over here, then you, then it will not be lifting the bridge up as vertical. So the, this instance here will lift the bridge or lift this flap further up than the one pulling from higher up. Um, that particular thing, so that particular uh, statistic, I got or way of looking at it, gets a little more complicated when you start attaching your hydraulic to other points because you no longer have this triangle that is that where one leg of it is your road. Um, you end up, you have your triangle is essentially different now. So, uh, but, but however, the same aggressiveness essentially um, is still there, but it's just kind of uh, hidden. So, whoops, or the same way of looking at it. So what you, the way you know, the way I've figured to how far up you lift the bridge in basic content text is there are three important points on where, of where everything is being lifted. And this has to do with pretty much everything. And those points are, you've got both attachments on your, of your hydraulics. You've got, um, you've got a stationary point, you've got a point that moves, and then you, the other point that is important is your pivot point. Um, so if I draw a, draw a steel rod, this right here is my, is a triangle that kind of represents, um, that, that this is a, if this is will kind of represent your aggressiveness. Um, the way I've figured is that when you bisect your line right here, if you drew, if this was like a 90 degree angle, I think it's like you take, this would be the, uh, the longest side here, and if you uh, found the height of your triangle, like bisecting that at a 90 degree angle, then the, the shorter your height is, then the further back your bridge would be lifted. Um, after a while, you just kind of figure it out and you kind of wing it. So if this is my angle here, then that would be giving me a similar pull to where if I, I think if I go about here, um, let's, let's test that out. 
kind of just uh, doing this as I go. So, um, so yeah, they're about approximate. So, um, so essentially, my triangle here is a lot more apparent. It's to the tip here. This is your stationary point. You've got your moving point, and you've got your pivot point. Um, this triangle is a very similar shape to the one on the left, and therefore it lifts a similar distance. Um, now that's important when you start. Um, sometimes you may want to lift a bridge up um, very far. Um, there's a level that is, but you, there we go. So you end up creating something kind of like this. Uh, if you've played the edge hugger map, you might have done this, um, or if you, or if your boat, if your point here is right next to your boat and the boat's a little taller than this, then you may need to pull the bridge vertical, and you may end up have, you may end up putting your hydraulic almost flat like this. Now, one thing that is kind of a disadvantage to doing it this way is the uh, using only one road here. It's rather weak. Um, but you can essentially kind of combat that by trying to, by adding an extra piece in here and lifting it that way. Um, and then you, you can kind of, you can get your same lift, but you applying your force in a different way. And many times that will be the difference between uh, your road breaking and your road not breaking. Um, once again, you still have your triangle would be, uh, you've got your stationary point here, you've got your moving point, and you've got your lift point. So this is a very flat triangle, um, but if I moved it over here, it's going to be a very tall triangle. Now, of course, the length of your hydraulics and what percentage you set it to is also a factor here. Um, you can't ever forget that, but if you're working with a limited number of hydraulics or you're just trying to save budget or whatever, then um, th these are important things to consider. All right, well, that's kind of a little bit abstract, um, but it's kind of a idea of something to keep in mind and to kind of think about how something a little more definite than just, I guess, aggressive angle um, and how it affects larger sections. Um, the other example I have here is for pulling the large sections of bridge. Um, what I've got here is I've got the same bridge, but I've decided to pull uh, instead of moving just one section, I've got four sections here that are all connected together. Um, I've seen another thing, I've seen several players that they seem to think you can only move one road piece at a time. but um, that's certainly not true. Um, all you have to do is you've got a frame which is nicely built in steel and then you've got a moving section which is a different framework. Now this part right here um, for the most part is preventing your road from bending no matter how if it's if your part you're pulling up is 10 road pieces or two road pieces you always need something to stop it from bending. Um, so you're always going to end. This could also be below, and but what I'm going to talk to you about here is essentially where you attach your hydraulic on here. Um, so right, if I this dips into I suppose your lever arms here. If you attach your if you attach further towards the end of your bridge. Then, then, then the pull distance for, or the amount of contraction that your hydraulic shrinks will be used less efficiently than if you pull it, if you connect your hydraulic closer back. Um, so this right here, you should see, that will be very apparent that the left side here is gonna raise up further than the right, okay? And then if I go further back here, then once again, the now the right side will lift up further than the left. And here it's quite a bit more. All right. And then if I connect here, 
then it would go even further back if it didn't break. Right now, this is going to break. Um, there's a couple ways you know this. Um, one, just the fact that, just from a lot of experience, you have to think of how this bridge would be after this split joint is split. So if this is removed, would this piece here hold up? And uh, and on top of that, it's going to be all shaking and everything. Um, so this will certainly break once the split joint is now separated. Um, the other thing that is that I see is that this is a pretty long hydraulic. It's about the maximum length of eight meters, and it's expanding at fifty percent. Um, and this piece right here is a rather short piece. Um, when this when this contracts, then this piece here is bit would basically be pulled completely out of the socket, I guess. Um, so I'm going to do something here to demonstrate this. So when this pulls, then this piece here will just snap one because this is still contracting. Um, one thing else you might do is you might try to pull from a different angle, which you can certainly do as well. Um, and you, you'll get a very, um, this would go pretty far. This is a near vertical. So if we imagined this piece still being attached to it, then it could go, if it was lifting, then it would actually go almost vertical. But however, this is going to break because essentially that we do not have you are not supporting it. So in general, when you are, if you're, how high you're lifting is not an issue, then you can, you want to attach your hydraulics to either somewhere in approximately around the middle or further out. Um, if you're attaching your, your hydraulic further back than the middle of your bridge, then then you, the only reason you should be doing that is if you're trying to gain a whole bunch of extra lever efficiency, or you're just, you just are, a lot of times that's the best place to attach it, um, as far as it makes most sense. Um, here it doesn't make much sense. If I had, um, if I had an anchor point down here, then and you were trying to lift up, then is that going to reach? No, that's too far. Good. Makes a good example. And so you'll do this, and I've seen a lot of people do this, even very good players, um, and this is just going to break every time. Um, and then they start reinforcing this and doing a whole bunch of stuff when really what they should do is figure out how to get this hydraulic to mount further out. Um, I can do that here by kind of giving myself a little more space to work with and then building a little structure allowing me to put this further out and now I can lift this bridge. And it goes very high. So, um, uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was using multiple hydraulics um, to lift your bridge extra far. So um, let's say we want to move our bridge up vertically. Um, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to copy these. All right, so this is going to be too, oh, just barely too far. Okay, so. So I'm lifting this bridge up this direction. So if I want to lift this further than this distance, uh, there's a level called, um, I think it's, uh, oh, I forget what it's called, elevation. Uh, it's in the snowdrift, it's the last level of snowdrift. Um, it requires, it essentially, the idea is that you lift a section of road far up, but the distance you're going is further than the length of one hydraulic can compress. So what you have to do is, 
um, you want to go further up and then you need to use multiple hydraulics. So in this example, say that we wanted to get our road to our um, our road to be level with this line right here where these these steel rods are. Okay. So what we need to do essentially is measure out this distance. Um, and if you put one hydraulic here, um, or any any road piece, then we can say, all right, this is the full distance you need to go. So since this is the full distance, then your hydraulic, if your if your hydraulic is vertical, needs to be double that length. So you need to then build something on the top here to connect to that. Get, oh, I keep pushing the wrong buttons. And here we are. And then if I attach two piece hydraulics end to end, then once this is now, once this is lifted, it should line up with this thing here perfectly. And it does. So, um, one thing that is, so basically when you attach your two hydraulics together, then you're going to get the combined power of, or the combined compression of both of them. Um, adding multiple hydraulics within the same space has no added benefit, so this will lift evenly even though there are now three hydraulics instead of two. I've seen people do uh, try to put many links in a small area thinking that it was going to make your make it lift even further up, but it all has to do with your length. Um, next thing that I want to talk uh, to do is to lift this bridge really far back, but I want to have it attached to the end. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have two hydraulics that are both pulling this bridge up. Um, um, I'll just do, I'll stick with two, that's fine. It won't go really that far, but that's fine. So, um, typically what I think to do is I like to build your hydraulics in kind of an arc in the way that your bridge would follow. So you got, you got your, your moving point, you got your stationary point, and then what you need to do is somewhere near your, um, your rotation point, or at least in the same kind of area, um, I think I'm going to do it right out here. You build a little lever arm, or arm I guess, this isn't really a lever, um, and this will just kind of help guide this piece to go up. Um, it's probably not necessary here uh, for pulling it. If you were going down and set it up, it would certainly be necessary. Um, right here, it's just going to, it's just going to fall a little bit, and let's say if I made this straight, then this will kind of lift up and it'll work out all right anyways. All right, so that's kind of a bad example. Let's do it from the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to build a super hydraulic piece here that uses three hydraulics. I'm gonna attach it to the wall brace and I'm gonna attach it right in here. All these are going to extract, or expand, I mean. So then what I need to do is I need to build a little, I need to make sure that when this runs, I mean, it doesn't just swing out here, and I mean, you could fix the swing on this part, but this these are still gonna sag, so I mean, let me fix the swing. Um, so here, this is stationary, but once this, um, I'm going to put a cable in here for demonstration purposes. So once these expand, this just drops, and that doesn't really help anything at all. Um, so what you what you need to do is you need to make sure that this keeps the shape. Uh, in this case, um, cables will be sufficient because um, it's trying to kind of drop in the same manner that. Um, whoop, I need to put this into the wall. I think that will work. Okay, so this is, they're not going to flip over this other way, so you can get them lifted, and um, if 
there weren't any bugs, then that would have the boat would have broken my hydraulic. But it's not the point of this. Um, if you needed to actually a solid arm, you could uh, do your little diamond trick. So, and then you can have a solid arm that goes across, or your arm doesn't really have to be, your arm doesn't have to have the same point here, so I could have an arm go like here, and that could work. Um, well, let's, let's do that. So this piece here will move. Alright, that looks kind of weird. So, that's another way of doing things. Uh, another interesting deal that you might do is you might try to kind of use multiple hydraulics for one purpose. Um, uh, I didn't think about talking about this, but I don't know if I... I'm thinking I'm going to try to use this one hydraulic here to lift the right side of the road as well by essentially kind of creating something that um, allows us to lift. Okay, um, yeah, okay, I think I know how I'm going to do this. So... I'm probably going to do a lot of this type of stuff in my in my uh, videos for and like my workshop videos or various other things. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have okay. So if this lifts up, then. Um, good video if I just sit here and stare at the screen blankly trying to solve a puzzle that isn't really necessary. Um, I mean like you'd have something kind of like this maybe except for this needs to actually resize. Um, How about instead I talk about creating a lever arm for my hydraulic? That sounds more fun. Or at last, it seems easier. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a... This is going to be attached to the end. Say I need to do this for whatever reason. Say it needs to be, I need to have it supported here because of the strength. But I still need to lift it extra far. Um, so one thing I might choose to do is I'm going to create a lever arm. This arm right here is really long, and then I'm going to make this piece into a triangle, and then I'm going to attach a hydraulic down this and this place. So, um, so this here you're going to get extra efficiency because you're moving this piece right here in. And then that distance is being essentially magnified out due to this. Um, I created a um, workshop level that is designed to use stuff like this. Um, and then, then what you can do is you can, um, if you really get into start crazy things, then you can, uh, uh, you could set up something like like this where this piece moves and it's just kind of I enjoy a lot just playing with these types of things um, so like right now um, I might actually end up doing this let me see if I can so I want this to go kind of back let's see I'm going to so therefore I'm going to attach it right here um, if it makes any sense doing that. It's kind of fun just experimenting around. 
seeing what what you can do. And that's just a, another triangle that um, I have a be here. kind of set on this making the other bridge go up. This won't work because it's going to pull too far, but you kind of get the idea. Um, I might be able, well, you know what, I'm going to instead break it right here, and, whoop, and I'm going to make a yellow point here. Um, be here all going to be one, and this will be two, I guess. And then what I want to do is lift this section here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this kind of piggyback off the same piece that's moving in order to lift this right section. There we go. So now we're lifting both of these with one hydraulic. Well, um, this is this is a. I think I've covered at least the main things um, for for this deal. One, the main point I wanted to get across was where you attach your your hydraulic and how strong that makes that piece of the bridge. Um, I wanted to talk about the creating. The levers and essentially the way of uh, making having a pulling a small arm but having a larger arm attached to it which is essentially what happens when you attach your when you have your bridge lift from this point as opposed to the point further out you know and by the way if you have two here this will just this will fail miserably um, well it will break your bridge anyway um, you, most of the time you want to you want to have just one pole one point you attach and if you if you're trying to use two tri hydraulics to lift the same item then you have to make sure they're like pulling at the exact or like the exact correct angle or that they're um, that they and the con that the contraction would have to be different so for example this one you'd have to have a lot lesser contraction I think and you'd have to, this would be really hard to get correct and the, the hydraulics going at different speeds would make it near impossible to not break that. Um, well that's all I'm going to say. Um, if you want to see more about hydraulics, I build a lot of crazy hydraulic things and I will be putting more of them on my channel. Um, I hope you at least left this video with a better understanding of how to create hydraulics uh, more to use it in more advanced situations. So have fun and I'll see you guys later.